सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टू बाइट चैनल वंस अगेन आई नो इट्स बीन रियली लॉन्ग टाइम दैट आई हैव कम टू द चैनल एंड अपलोडेड दिस स्टफ ऑन द फॉर्मवे डेवलपमेंट प्रॉपरली अपलोडेड द कंटेंट विद अ कंसिस्टेंसी आई हैव मेड मेनी कमिटमेंट्स दैट आई वुड बी अपलोडिंग वीडियोस ऑन दोस थिंग्स एंड दीस थिंग्स बट आई वाज नॉट एबल टू गेट द टाइम बट नाउ आई एम बैक आई एम नाउ हेल्दी इन अफ लेटली रिसेंटली आई हैव सम माय हेल्थ इश्यूज for about the uh, one to two months because of which i am not able to get time proper learn the stuff and then make the content on it but now i am fine i would be making my videos on the for, for back to the topics that i have made commitment on and i would be making many much more videos also lately in the past few day, months i have been investing my much more time on the building my the get to bike website so basically the i am trying to create a blogging website a tutorial uh, where i upload all the stuff on the firmware development making up blogs uh, much more or okay because blogs make it much more inter- easy to understand and fast for uh, getting to know the things so there are many blogs that i have uploaded related to the firmware development from device create device driver development to some general topics like how to start with firmware development my interview at such instruments so getting exposure to some industrial expansion boards and uh, recently i have uh, made an blog on starting with autos so there are also many other interesting topics on the website which you can see uh, related to arm processors iot auto say sensors and modules and many other miscellaneous topics related to the firmware so many more stuff are going to come also so some of the content is still on the lineup so do check out the website also and uh, i also want to make up an update that recently i have started working on nxp semiconductors as embedded software developer and i am working over there on a cryptography or uh, security firmware on the nxp semiconductors in noida so it's been a great working over there i am getting many industrial exposure over there and now from that exposure i would be making i have think of making the stuff on the content on the nxp microcontrollers also so as if now when for some more time my content would be related to stm controllers but lately in future i would be migrate from stm to nxp controllers like those of this nxp k314 k3144 evolution boards these are very good automotive based processors so content related to the automotive uh, concentrating to con- automotive and those things would be coming up so now from this video we would be starting with real time operating system for microcontrollers and the, the artos which i would be starting with is the free artos because it is widely used in industry one of the best recommended for starting out for beginners so artos uh, like an artos is a very important concept and topic to be understand to build complex applications where there are multiple inputs multiple processing and we need a output at a time critical situations okay and uh, to also from the point of view of uh, having a skill of artos very important in terms of the job and in terms of making the products on your own also so starting with the free artos i would be starting and uh, free artos is supported in wide number of microcontrollers of uh from stm controllers to nxp controllers to texas and to many controllers it supports wide number of this uh, like you can see what all controllers and uh, silicon vendors does it support okay so and also it has wide number of libraries for which support for iot also aws uh, for the mqtt uh, code uh, http and all those things so we would be going with these things but at first you would be starting with the basic free artos which would be the basic artos real time operating system you would be playing with the uh, how to make tasks how to use the semaphores mutexes and how those things i would be not going into the theoretical concepts much more into the theoretical concepts of the artos because there are many you know, tutorial videos resources books over the internet but i would be much more concentrating on building different kind of applications on artos that how to make such an application using artos how to use different mutex uh, ipcs how to use the task creations different situations and different applications so like much more focusing on the implementation and application part of the artos 
so now without wasting time now let's start the video this is just a basic introduction that i want to give an overview so yeah okay it's like um, the introduction is only about five minutes so okay now let's start the video on the artos and i would be making uh, the videos on artos starting with the stm32 microcontrollers So now starting with the RTOS, so that is free RTOS reusing. So if we go to its website, so uh, like when I first go to its website, there are many stuff over the free RTOS, RTOS. Like if you get into its getting started, scan documentation. So there is one free talk, getting started with free RTOS kernel, getting started with free RTOS plus libraries, getting started with free RTOS core libraries getting started with AWS IoT libraries and all those things. So like at first I've become very, like it is very confusing that what exactly is FreeRTOS kernel, what is FreeRTOS plus libraries, what is FreeRTOS core libraries and all those things. Because like, uh, like I am coming from a background that I have just done a firmware development, I have done a device driver development. I know that uh, what are all onboard communication protocols are. I have made many sensor drivers, sensors and modules, application boards and drivers, but not got an exposure, like have not have a background of Artos. So these things, what all exactly are these things? And now when if you click each one of these, then each one of them has lots of documentation. Okay, there are lots of things in it. So at first it might become very overwhelming and uh, like how to start with it and also confusing that what exactly is the things that we need to focus as as a beginner when starting with RTOS. So like when to start with the RTOS, like if you're coming to free RTOS, the very important thing that first when we need to understand about an RTOS, it's kernel. Because kernel is the main thing that handles all the things that do all the multiprocessing, that do all the task creation, file management creation, all the talking of the different between the different tasks and all those things. So kernel is the very first point and very important thing that one needs to go and understand its different components in the kernel. Like inside the kernel, we have things related to the task management, task creation, scheduling algorithms, different IPCs like mutex, semaphores, queues, software timers, hardware timers. So getting an exposure and understanding what all these things are, okay, that is the first go through thing that a beginner should go through. Then if we come to the free RTOS plus libraries and free RTOS core libraries kind of things. So these are the additional libraries that we can integrate on free RTOS. Like if you go to the free RTOS plus libraries, so it includes some higher like libraries and APIs for integrating TCP IP protocol, for integrating the IO protocols, uh, command line protocols, if you want to integrate command line interface in your application, if you want to integrate TCP IP stack. So we can directly use these libraries and use them as an individual tasks in our free RTOS kernel. Okay, same way out like if there are free RTOS core libraries, so the free RTOS core libraries has the libraries for HTTP, MQTT protocol. These are the web development protocols for communicating with the web browser, much more concentrating on the IoT use cases, basically. Okay, transport interface. So we can directly use these protocols, these APIs and these libraries and functions in our free RTOS kernel library with the free RTOS kernel to make the application to more according to the IoT and those things. So same way as AWS is a uh, Amazon Web Services. So directly integrating with the AWS services, okay. AWS IoT, OT updates. Uh, these are like all the AWS integrating our application and our hardware with the AWS. So what all APIs and functions and libraries are over there. So we can use directly those libraries with our free RTOS kernel. So very first thing that one needs to go and understand is about the free RTOS kernel. Any RTOS you take and RTOS kernel is the first go through thing that one needs to start with. 
okay so now starting with the artos kernel so artos kernel is the one of the very go through an important point to start with the real time operating system you take any real time operating system so like kernel is with a very important thing that handles all the things in our real time operating system and there are certain components in the real time kernel which are very important some of them are like task and process management which basically loads the task set up the memory space for the task creating of the task allocating space management of the task and like there's a task control block in our uh, which has all the information related to the task like what is the task priority task a task identification number task all the related things okay and then there is a task and process scheduling which schedules the task in what what order the task would be executing because there are multiple tasks we would be having in real time operating system so which task will be implemented will be executed first their state transitions would be done from run state to ready state to continue state or to suspended state that thing is done by task or process scheduling and uh, so like initially the starting of the we will be concentrating on these three topics that what is task uh, how how what apis are there in free artos for task and process management for task and process scheduling task and process are the words which are used interchangeably like individual task uh, which are run in the real time kernel in the artos so okay and like you just don't worry all those things which i am telling verbally in this video the, the all those things would be there in the blog of uh, starting with the free art house you can check out this art of blog there are many things which i have told in depth in this video in this blog okay and it would be updated from time to time as video can't be updated but blogs can be updated so now like that's what i want to tell you about it and also like there are in the in the kernel there are memory management interrupt handling we will be covering all these topics turn by turn in the video there are different hypotheses initially we would be focusing on the task management task creation task and process scheduling and synchronization like we can, okay so if you want to understand that what a task is so in a simplest term term task is what we need to do what uh, a single process or single execution that has to be done so there are multiple tasks running parallelly in artos but at a time only one task is executing if there is a using we are using a single core processor like in a case of stm32 blue pill it has single cortex m3 so only one task or one uh, task would be executing at a time but it would be depicted artos would be would, would make us depict in a sense all the four or five tasks or four or five tasks which we have created are executing simultaneously at a time so that is how the scheduling is it is what the synchronization and scheduling comes under and in the management the creation of the task comes under so if we were going to start with artos now like this video is quite uh, lengthy in the next video what we are going to do we are going to create a multiple task in free artos using stm32 controller so we will be using this like gbio uart we will be creating two tasks in the one task we will be blinking an led and in one task we will be printing something on the terminal screen so we will see that how this thing is done okay how this thing is being created and uh, uh, will be implemented so now like that's it for this video i think you have got a pretty idea what will be my starting all how we will be starting with artos and what all topics we will be covering you can check the blog there are many things in the blog that uh, you will get better idea okay now in the next video we will be creating an task the estimated to cube id and i would also make you go through about the cmsis cortex microcontroller standard interface that is there in when using with the free artos with estimated to cube id so till the next video see you in the next video any video any suggestions any comments or any doubts you have do mention them in the comment section below so that's it for this see you in the next video so that's it for now like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends